These are five easy, dead simple transition moves you can do, bringing the ball up the court to get past defenders and score a ton more points. One of your best opportunities to score more points is in transition because the defense isn't set up, they're not really ready, and a lot of times you can sneak right into the paint, attack, get open jump shots, get open three-point shots, and a ton more because the defense isn't ready for you, they're not ready to collapse on you, and the court is a lot more wide open. So you'll definitely want to make sure you get all five of these down. And be sure you stay tuned to the end of the video because I'm going to give you a way to make a ton more shots in transition, number one. And number two, counter moves for all these moves so you have unlimited options to beat your defender. So first move is really, really simple. All you're going to do is come up and transition to your defender with a little bit of momentum. Almost all these are going to use some level of change of speed, which is big. We're going to slow down when we get to the defender. We're going to turn back away so the hand that has the basketball is away from the defender and almost like a slight protection dribble so you've seen like Dwayne Wade Isaiah Thomas especially they'll do this move a ton they'll come up to the defender they'll slow down and then boom just a quick change of speed to blow by them that's all it takes as soon as you feel this foot touch the ground and you feel like you've got the angle to get past your defender just explode that's the biggest key that's all you really need to pay attention to if you're slowing down enough a lot of times you'll be able to get that angle on them if you don't and they jump in front of you you're fine because the ball is in a perfectly protected position second move is going to look similar to the last one but the way you'll set it up is going to be a lot different for this one if i'm coming down the court i'd be coming a little more to the right for this one so i start getting an angle to this side of my defender or trying to anyway and i'm going to turn my body this way like in the last one but i'm not doing it to kind of step into my defender's space on this side and i'm not doing it to make it look like i'm slowing down to protect the basketball i'm slowing down more to look like i might pass to a teammate over here or like I might drive this way. So it's a little bit more of an open stance. I'm not all the way here and I'm more to this side of the defender. From there, a lot of times your defender is gonna try to go for that basketball, right? So as soon as they do that, boom, just hit them with a crossover. A lot of times you'll be able to beat them. Now, they might be too close to where you can't get that crossover off and they'll steal it. All you gotta do then is go into a behind the back. Or a spin move. But it all comes down to that slight change of speed. So this one's a little bit more of like a full speed to a half speed. So you're jogging down the court, slowing down, boom. Just a quick little open stance, going right from that into the next move. But of course, sometimes your defender is gonna play more of your body position, right? And they're gonna move more this way. So if that's the case, then you actually just go this way. That's pretty simple stuff. Third move is deadly because it gives you a lot of options. It's a little footwork thing, super simple to do. All you're gonna do is, again, come up about half to three quarters speed, maybe even full speed. When you get to about arm's distance from your defender, scissors are your feet, just like that. So you usually wanna do this with the opposite foot stopping as the hand that's dribbling. So you're about arm's distance from your defender, maybe slightly closer. This is your legs, keep the ball back behind your hips where it's more protected. And when you do that change of speed, a couple things are gonna happen. Either A, your defender's gonna freeze up and kinda go to sleep because they see, okay, looks like you're about to stop and just set up the offense. And a lot of times, boom, you can blow by him. But after you do that once or twice, defenders are gonna be kinda keen on that. They're gonna know, okay, I see what's going on. He's using this little move to get past me, right? So next time, what are they gonna do? They're probably gonna jump this way. Cool, you're good to go because you got another option right from this. Boom, just go right into the crossover. Simple stuff. Fourth move, you can kind of remix a, a couple different ways. It just depends on your spacing from your defender and just what's comfortable for you. But you're gonna use this one as a, more of an actual move, like a change of direction fake so you're gonna come up to your defender get a little bit of a change of speed again not as much for this one you're gonna slow down a little bit but not quite as much and you really want to explode into this next move so this next move you want to be a crossover of some sort doesn't really matter what crossover except for if you're really close to your defender then you'd want to like go between the legs so you got protection with your leg or behind the back so you got protection with your whole body but some sort of a crossover to fake the defender to make them think you're gonna come this way and then some sort of a crossover to quickly come back this way change of speed is gonna be big though so a little bit of a slowdown and then boom go quick into the crossover make that crossover full speed so they're like oh he's going and you get him shifting come back this way so it could be between the legs into a crossover could be between the legs if you're really close to him go behind the back 
You could go between the legs into another between the legs potentially. You could go crossover behind the back. You get the point. Two different crossovers, just keeping in mind your spacing, selling a good fake, and coming the other way. Fifth move is deadly and simple, and then I'm gonna get into the ways to make more shots in transition. So for many of these, if you pull them out, you know, a couple feet from the three-point line, you could go right into a three-point shot. And then I'm also gonna give you counter moves, so in case your defender recovers or there's health defense, you got a way to deal with that. So the fifth move, all we're gonna do is go inside out. So it's a lot like that last move. We're selling a fake one way and coming back the other. It's just that the inside out is a little bit quicker to do that, but the dribble is a little bit higher, so you wanna make sure you have enough space at least an arm's distance from your defender to get this off. All you want to do is jab with the opposite foot, handcuffs from the outside of the basketball over the top, pull it back out. You want to move the ball a little bit to the side to sell that fake. Use your shoulders, your hips, your chest to lean into a little bit. A lot of times you get your defender shifting that way and you can blow by them, but you will want to have some counter moves for this to deal with defenders because sometimes they will react to this, right? This YouTube video right here has got you covered with 10 simple one dribble crossovers you can use as counter moves to this to help defenders. And then this YouTube video will help you instantly make more shots in transition, in games, in practice, literally in seconds. It's already helped thousands of players. I'm sure it'll help you. Click the like button, the subscribe button, and the bell icon, and I will see you in this video or this video next.